Badr from Saudi. Oh, I heard a hadith that is, uh, it's impermissible to listen to female singers and to play musical instruments. I wanted to ask whether it was halal to listen to male singers and to listen to uh, musical instruments without playing them. You asked me this on my website, did you not? Uh, yes, I have. And I answered you, but I'll answer you again, inshallah. Badr from Saudi Arabia. He asks a question that he asked uh, on the website, and I said to him, I'm going to answer it again. The Prophet والسلام, prohibited us to listen to women sing. And this is proven from the Sunnah. Grown up women, their voice is prohibited to be used in singing or in, in speaking softly. And maybe this is why the call centers usually put and appoint women. Because men's voices are not as attractive and as soothing as some women, not all. So women singing is haram. Accompanied by musical instruments or not, it doesn't make any difference. So his question is, what about if men sing without musical instruments? Of course, if it's without musical instruments, we have no problem because musical instruments are prohibited on their own. So it is not necessary to be accompanied by lyrics or someone singing, listening to Beethoven, Mozart, uh, um, or, or whatever alone is haram without any singing or lyrics. Musical instruments is prohibited in Islam. And this is according to the Quran, Hadith, and the four schools of thought. We don't have to uh, um, reinvent the wheel. What's haram is haram. What about men singing? Well, men singing without musical instruments is called nasheed. And nasheed in Islam is poetry sung with a melodious voice. So if this poetry is constructive and has good words and meanings, then it's halal. If it is destructive and had vulgar words and bad meanings, it's haram. So if a man comes and sings a song praising jihad, praising Allah, praising being generous and courageous, praising being good to your parents, all of this is okay, no, there's no problem in that. The Prophet ﷺ, whenever he traveled, there was a man called Anjasha, and he used to lead the camels that the mothers of the believers used to ride. So in order to make the camels stride faster, he used to sing them poetry. But sometimes the tempo was so fast that the camels ran a little bit quickly. So the Prophet used to say to him, alayhi salatu ya anjasha ruwaydaka al-qawarir. Yani take it easy with the delicate cargo you are leading because such striding in, 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 in a fast pace would probably harm the ladies. So this was an indication that Anjasha was doing what is known as hida, which is saying poetry with a, a, a melodious tone and Allah Azza wa knows best. 